Hi there, it's David Young here at Corinthians Golf Club and today's tip we're going to go through, we're going to play three holes and we're going to show you how to break 90. So the 12 shots of golf are specifically designed to help you understand if you want to play to a certain level what to do. We're going to play three holes, a par 5, a par 3 and a par 4, show you what we're looking for. Now, if you look back at my original data, we set out sort of tee shots, what are we looking for for an 18 handicap golfer, around about 170 to 180 yards off the tee. And it's important, it's not what club you use, it's about achieving that result. If you can hit a little bit further, go for it. But what we're looking for on average, can we get that ball down the fairway around about 180 yards? Let's see what we can do. Nice and straight, should be around where we want to be. Let's go and have a look. So I've arrived at my ball, done exactly what I wanted to do. I put the ball down the fairway. Because the ground's getting a little bit firmer, hit the fairway nicely. It's runs actually, Let's just get a reading. I've run out to 203 yards, so a little bit better than average. Brilliant, going to take that. So just to put that in perspective, remember we said about 180 would be about an 18 handicap golfer, 200. We're now getting up more towards maybe a 13, 14 handicap goal. So a little bit of a bonus there. Now, this is one of my shot maintainers. This is the shot that I want you guys to have in your bag all the time. For our 18 handicap goal, for that guy shooting 90, we're looking for a shot, move it down there around about 150 yards. So I'm just going to take a mid iron. I'm just taking a six iron here, just going to put it down the fairway, keep myself in play, nice and smooth. Looks pretty good, all depends on the bounce. Looks like it's running down the fairway. Remember it's a par five, I can make a six. Next shot, probably get it up near to the green. We might make a chip and a putt for a par, but if we make a six, that's okay. But I'm happy with that shot. So I've arrived at my ball. So my second shot again, come down the fairway. And now we're on this par five. Let's see what I've got with my third shot. And we've got 130 yards into the green. So we got to realize an 18 handicap golfer anywhere on that green is a great shot from this position. So I'm just looking for a shot. If I can get that down towards the green, I'll take that. Should be within five yards of the green would be a good shot. So let's see what we can do. I'm just going to nudge up there a little eight iron, see if I can put that onto the green. Ground kicks a little right to left. So I'm going to favor the right side of the, the fairway. Let's see what we can do. a little bit further right than I want. Might just creep on the front edge. No, I think we're pretty much where we should be. About five, ten yards short of the green. Let's go up and have a look. See if we can get a chip and a putt to safe path. Or at worst, we're going to get our bogey. So I've arrived at my ball and we've done exactly what we said we're going to do. We've ended up around about five to ten yards short of the green on this par five. And we're looking at it again. You're a bogey golfer. Somebody's going to shoot 90 get this down in three from here that's really good so what we're going to look at ground is starting to get a little bit firmer this time of year but also we've got a little bit of a slope here so there's nothing really in my way but I'm dropping down you'll see as I walk down look how I'm dropping down onto the green so the putter here I think is going to be a better option you might play a little eight iron type shot the problem we got here with where Rob's put the flag is we've only got around about one two three four five paces of green behind the flag if we get a little bit cute it drops down a hill and it's gone so this is a very easy place where we can suddenly turn what is three really nice shots into a seven or an eight okay this is an opportunity to maybe make a five but we shouldn't walk off here worse than a six now the other thing you might hear on the mic you might not it's quite a windy day today and the wind's straight behind that ball it's all downhill it's all downwind the last thing i want to do is get that ball up in the air let the wind control it so I'm just going to take a putter. Grass is good. I'm just going to take a putter. Now, here's a key stat. All of these three holes we play, I want to be within 15 feet putting for par. If I can achieve that, brilliant. 
because what that's going to give me the opportunity to do, if I two putt that, there's my three bogeys. So for the result from here, if I can get this within 15 feet, I'll take it. It's not a problem. But read it like a putt, work out what you're going to do, give it a go. Okay, just running on a little bit. I'm glad I hit the putter now because I probably only ended up two paces, maybe only a pace from the back of the green. If I'd probably chipped that a little bit firmer, I'd have been off the back. So the right choice of the club in this situation. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's see if we can hold it, make a par. If we two putt it, there's our bogey. So I've arrived at my putt and I've given myself an outside chance here for my par. Let's just pace it out. We wanted to be within 15 feet. One, two, three, four probably slightly better. So 10 feet from the hole, brilliant chance. But this is still probably for an 18 handicap golfer, this is only a 10% chance I'm gonna hold this. So, but a 90% chance that I'm gonna two putt it and get my bogey. So I'm doing exactly what I wanna do. So the importance now is go through your routine. Don't rush the shots, come back, read your putt. It's a great chance there. I call it an opportunity. Every shot's a chance to play a good score. So. Read your putt. Once you're happy, give it a go. So if we hold it, picked up a shot, we two putt it, we've done exactly what we should be doing. Okay, well, I've rolled it up there within nine inches of the hole. Tap in. So 540 yard par five, we've just got our six exactly what we need to do. Let's go play the par three. So we've arrived at our second hole, the par three, and we're looking at a 201 yard par three. So again, let's get in perspective what we're looking to do, get our expectation level right. 200 yard hole for an 18 handicap golfer. This is a shot. Remember, we're saying a tee shot, if you can hit it 175 yards, 180 yards off a of par four, par five, that's good. So if you hit that shot on here, you're gonna be somewhere between 20, 25 yards away from the green. That would be a good shot. So that's what we're gonna look for, okay? I hit a nice tee shot on the last, the club that I expected to hit 180 yards. I'm gonna use the same club again. Let's see what happens. Very slight camber on the fairway from left to right. So it doesn't matter what level you are, read the shot. Flag's actually cut on the left, so probably if I aim at the flag, it will run to the middle of the fairway. I'll be absolutely fine. That's nice and straight. Yeah, I think I've done exactly what I want. Probably be about 30 yards from the green. Get it within that 15 feet with the chip. Two putt it, there's my four. Let's go and have a chip. So now a second shot on the par three. As I said, it's 200 yards, it's a good hole. We'll take a four from here, that's a good score. Achieve what I wanted. I've probably hit that little hybrid I hit off the tee. Relative to the middle of the green would be 200 yards. I'll probably hit this 165, 170 yards, but I'm in great place. Again, remember what we're looking for. If I can get this within 15 feet, last hole, we're about 10, 12 feet away. Hole it, you make your par, two putt it, there's your bogey. It's very simple what we're asking you to do. Nothing flashy. Again, Rob's put the flag a little bit tight to the edge of the green. So it's not my favorite flag position. So this is a shot, I've got lots of green to work with. I want to get the ball running up the green. So again, I'm not going to go with a high shot like a sand wedge or a, um, a lob wedge type club. Standard pitching wedges now probably on average have about 44 degrees of loft. So when I was growing up, that's about more what an eight iron was. So that's why people are starting to look like they're hitting the ball further. So I'm just going to use a standard pitching wedge. I'm looking to land this onto the green and then let it run up the green. 15 feet's my number. If I can do that, brilliant. Bit closer, bonus. Let's see what we can do. Technique for this shot, just playing quite a narrow little stance, a little bit back in my stance. Get the ball moving forwards 15 feet or better, we'll take it. Okay, just a little bit firm with that. And I might have run about a couple of feet off the back of the green. So again, what I should have done is probably played it a little bit more in front, but again, that's an error we can make as an 18 handicap golfer. But let's see what happens. I'm probably within 15 feet. I'm just not on the green. 
So let's see if we maybe putt it from there, still get out of here with our four. So I'm here at my third shot on the par three, and we're around about, I think, same distance as the last hole, about four paces. So about 10, 12 feet from the hole. So that's absolutely fine. We're inside our 15 feet, we're okay. Yes, I'd like to have been on the green, but I'm only a foot off. So it really doesn't make that much difference on that side. Goal is, hole it, brilliant, I've made a par, two putt it, there's my bogey. So go through your routine, read the putt. And roll that ball up nicely into the hole or next to it, see what we get. Okay, so I had a chance, thought at one point I might have got my three. Roll that 18 inches past, concentrate. Finish it off, and there we go. There's another bogey. So what I've done nicely on those two holes, I've got within about 10, 12 feet putting for par. Nothing fancy. Look, I've just put the ball down the fairway, up near the flag, two putts. Par five, onto the green for four, two putts. If we're looking to shoot 90, that's what we're doing. Let's see if we can get another one on the par four to finish with. So here's our final hole of our three-hole challenge, par four, and we're looking at a hole around about 330 yards. Plays a bit uphill, so it plays a little bit longer. But what we can look at here, this is actually a hole where as an 18 handicap golfer, that if we can hit that nice tee shot, there's an opportunity we could get pretty close to the green, okay, for our second shot. But remember, 15 feet putting for par or better, we're happy with that. So because it is uphill, I'm sticking with the same club because I know this is going to hit me that 180 to 200 yards down the fairway. It's going to give me that chance to get the result I want. I've hit two lovely shots off the tee on the last two holes, so why wouldn't I hit it again? All I'm doing is sticking to my level of expectation, keeping myself calm. That allows me to stay focused on what I'm doing. So picture the shot. Remember the last two tee shots have been lovely. See if we can do it again. Okay, it's gone a little bit right, all depends on the bounce now. Okay, I've struck it well, so the good thing is I've got some distance down the hole, and I think that's a really important thing to say. I've probably hit it my 180, 190 yards, but on this occasion I might be in the rough. We'll see when we get down there. We might have to manage this to see if we can make our, our bogey or get a par from that position. But let's go and have a look and see what we can do. So I'm at my second shot. Um, I thought I'd hit an okay drive. I thought I'd be maybe just in the light rough. Canberra, this fairway is quite severe and it's kicked into a, a position here that now I've got a really, what I call, create a recovery shot. Now, let's take a reading. Let's, let's get a reading to the flag. We can see the 150 markers just in front of us. And this is a shot I see a lot of 18 handicap golfers, high handicap golfers suddenly think, oh, I can go for this. I can rip it onto the green. And I think this is where you've got to manage your game. You've got to be clever. Let's look a little bit ahead and think, can I get myself within 15 feet in two more shots? I've got, even though it's 150 yards, I've actually only got 145 to the flag because that is to the middle of the green, the flag is at the front. I've got two things here to look at. Okay, number one, I've got a big tree in front of me which is about 90 yards short of the green. I want to, if I can, get past that. That doesn't mean I have to hit it over it. There's plenty of room left. I can go past it and run it up there. If I look at my data, if I can get this within, let's say, 30, 40 yards of the green, can I then get that inside that 15 feet? So I'm looking for a shot. Can I advance it maybe 100 yards up the hole? That would be good. Now, second thing to look at, two or three things around my ball. Look at the lie. It's not great, but what I don't mind about this lie is I've actually got a clean entry into the back of the ball. So I can choose whatever club I want. It's not really an issue there. Other thing to look at, look what's around you. I see golfers go in here. They just get their number and they start swinging. And a little bit of a rule of golf here. If you happen to do a practice swing and you make contact with any of these branches above us and a leaf or a branch falls off that, you're going to incur penalty shots. So it's important that if you're going to make a swing, that you do a practice swing very slowly and make sure you're not going to hit the tree. And I think also that's quite an important thing to do because what I see a lot of the time, if there's a tree behind and people are not aware of that, when they go to actually play the shot, and they, act, they clip it, it sort of puts you off and then they miss hit the shot. So I want to make sure that there's nothing in my way here to incur any sort of penalty in my practice swing and it's going to alter what I'm going to do with the shot. And 
what I can then do, if there was something in my way, I could probably look at here. There's nothing really severe as in rough and that to go through. I could take a slightly more powerful club and make a shorter swing. So that's options of what we can do. In this case, I might hit that on the way through, but the shot that I'm going to play, I'm going to take a seven iron and advance this 100 yards up the fairway. Shouldn't really come into my swing, but I've checked that. My lie's okay. I'm going to keep it left of the tree. I'm looking to advance this ball if I can. 100 yards up the hole, give myself that 30 to 40 yard pitch in from there. So I'm actually playing this similar to the pitch I did on the last. A little bit of a narrower stance, not looking for full power, and just get that ball moving forwards. So I've played it nicely up the left side, not looking at the flag. In that situation, I think I've done exactly what I want. I think I'm probably going to have a 25, 30 yard pitch onto the green. Now let's see if we can get that down in three. And from what was an awkward position, I can still make my bogey and still make a score. You never know. Good chip and a putt. Might even make a par from here. Let's go and have a look at the chip shot. So really happy where the second shot's ended up here. I was in a little bit of trouble. I've got myself back into play. And I've got myself now within an area. Now let's have a look. How many yards from the green? How many yards from the flag? We're 33 yards from the hole. So to be honest, if we go back to the tee box and we now look at the position we're in, this is about where I should be as an 18 handicap golfer. So that's okay. All right, I've got a little bit of trouble off the tee. I played a decent shot here to get myself back in play. Nothing fancy, just punched a seven iron out. Now what I'm looking to do, just play a standard pitching wedge here up onto the green. Again, don't need to go high, really high, just looking for a standard shot. So 15 feet's good. I'm just looking for a nice shot. Again, I'm not looking for full power. So I go a little bit narrow in my stance, ball a little bit back in my stance. From there, trust the loft, pop it up onto the green. Yeah, quite happy with that. Probably going to be around 15, 18 feet from the hole. So what looked a poor position after one shot, I've now really given myself a chance to guarantee my five. Might still hold that putt for a four. So really happy how we've played this hole. Let's go finish it off and hold the putt. So I've arrived at the green and I've done pretty much what I said I wanted to do. I've got the ball nicely onto the green. Let's pace it out. Let's see where we finished. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a couple of paces more than I'd ideally like, but that's okay. 20 feet. Still think as an 18 handicap golfer, on average, we should be two putting this more than anything else. Now, what I'm going to do a little bit is read the putt. So what I do is I tend to read my putts more from the hole back to the ball. And the reason for that, I'm looking at the hole and I'm working out where I believe the ball's going to run at the end. Because the ball is going to be dictated very much by gravity as it comes down the green. So what I'm looking for is where's the low point. So I think the low point's here. You can see my ball up the green. So there's not a lot of break on this. I'd call myself the low point six o'clock. Think of a clock face. 12 o'clock would be up there. That would be straight down the hill. I'm coming from probably not even 11 o'clock. So this is going to break a little left to right. But because I'm standing at the low point, I now know also that's going to be a pretty much a downhill putt. That's what I'm looking for as I go down the green. So now it's all about, can I get my two putts? Go through your routine, come back. Check what you're doing. And again, a little bit downwind as well. So I've got a couple of factors here. Quite severe with the wind. Quite severe down the hill. Let's see if we can get our two putts. Two putts means we've made our three bogeys on our challenging holes here. Let's see what we can do. All about the speed. I'd like to see it just stop right by the hole. God, that wind's pushed it on a little bit, but we're within 15 inches. Again, for me, just concentration. Finish it off. Okay, so I've got my bogey on that hole. We've completed the three holes with three bogeys. That's exactly what I need to do. You can see all we've looked to do, get that ball 180 to 200 yards off the tee. So nothing amazing. We've put the ball in play. Even when we didn't, on the last hole there, we've got the ball back into play. We've got it back on the green. Two putts, job done. I hope you enjoyed that. That's my 12 shots of golf, how to break 90. Go out there, keep it simple, know what you can do, and you'll find those scores will look after themselves. Thank you.